here with Nick from Sprayers Plus, guys. Hi. Tell them about some of the stuff that you guys have going on right now. So, Paul, how, uh, why don't you uh, do the demonstration? I'll do demonstrations. Oh, hi. Uh, so, do you want me? Like, which model do you want me to do a demonstration? Let's do the 105E. 105, sure. Let's come over. Yeah. Just the lithium ion one. Okay. okay, so. So basically here is a 105E, so it comes with a uh, 20 volt, uh, 20 volt uh, lithium batteries. So that um, it will actually give you about like almost 3 hours of usage or you can um, empty out about 9 to 10 tank of 4 gallons. Okay, so it gives you uh, 35 P, uh, PSI in terms of uh, spray power. So maybe I'll, go, I'll show you some demonstration right here. Okay, when you turn it on. Here's a mist. You can go more up to about uh, 40 feet. Consistent power for three hours. You want to try to reach over there? Well, hopefully that won't get anybody wet. It's vertical. It's vertical. Yep. So it's just, just so easy. So whenever um the battery like the battery like this one is about like three hours or is up to like nine to ten tanks of uh, four gallons yeah so like if you don't have enough juice so you can get another extra battery it will last you for another three hours about how much do the batteries run themselves 47 uh, 95. Uh, 95 so less than 40 bucks it yeah will that's give a you good another, price for that another uh, three hours so yeah. it comes with one battery each uh, sprayers will come with uh, one dock and one batteries. So each dock will actually give you uh, indication lights of how many battery remaining in this battery. And what's about the estimate on from a completely dead battery to charge on that? Two and unit? a half hours. About two and a half hours. Okay. Yeah. That's a really cool machine. So being being as well last year, I looked at every single other sprayer that was yeah. here. What separates you from all of the perfect yeah. I'm big on spraying. I would say that um, I would say that uh, we can really uh, we are trying to bring a new technology into the industry. So I wouldn't do a comparison between Apple and Orange. So I would say we are trying to go into a different categories of sprayers to try to bring more improvements and like new technology into this like into the future of sprayers. Yeah. So what, what what's like one new technology that you're really focusing on? It's the lithium power, lithium for sure. Power. Lithium power is the, is the key yeah, of the future. Yeah, in you said hooking it up to your, yeah. to your mower battery or something, or putting a gas engine on it like all the other sprayers have. They either have you know, you a battery that you hook up to your mower, or you have, to, uh, you have a gas engine on it, or some other crappy battery system. And you guys have the lithium battery. Yeah, that's good. So right now we are concentrating on the, the backpack sprays. Yeah. So so we are not doing any, anything else, but only spray. Right, so you can really focus. So we are focused on that. Yeah. Well, we are also trying to, you know, um, the traditional sprayers, maybe it weighed about 11-ish um, to 12 pounds. This one without water is only 9.3 pounds. Yeah. So like, lighter, and then, you know, um, it also gives more. Yeah, it's pretty small. It's 4 gallons, powerful, and then it's durable. Yeah. I want to go ahead and show you some features and benefits to our sprayers versus the competition out there. We're going to start at the top looking at the lid. Most manufacturers have a couple threads on the outside of their tank and a few on the inside. We use a different style, kind of like a giant plug. And you'll notice on all of ours, there's two flat spots. What this is for is as you're taking the lid off and the fumes or any chemicals left in the tank starts coming up towards you. What happens is we have four holes in the neck here, like a 12, 3, 6, and 9. And what that does is you're loosening the lid, that pressure comes up through the lid, directs it back into the tank so the fumes aren't coming up into your face, okay? Very, very important that you're not breathing these chemicals. Now also, you'll see on this seal here around the lid, every model we have takes the exact same seal. So they're totally interchangeable. 
okay? So a dealer doesn't have to stock 30 different lids for our product. Now guys, from a service standpoint and safety standpoint, this piece here has to stay pliable. If it hardens, what happens is you don't get the seal because it doesn't compress, and as soon as you bend over, the chemicals are going to be coming down your backside, okay? We supply with each backpack sprayer a little container, a quarter ounce of 100% food grade silicone. That's what you want to use on all the seals and the O-rings, okay? As we move down, one of the things that I want to show you, and this is a very important piece, this is your spindle. In all except our 300 series, which is entry level, the, that we use brass with two O-rings. So what happens here, maybe like a pencil or something, and you want to pop this out. This is not the right, there we go. Now, take a look at these two O-rings here. When you start squeezing the trigger and it becomes very stiff, rather than overpowering it, pull this piece out, just put a very light coating of that silicone that we provided for you back on here. Your throttle, your trigger is working like it's brand spanking new again, okay? It just means it's dry. As we continue, as you look at the back, and I know a lot of you guys that are running our product, you guys don't even know this is here. But there's your filter, okay? Doesn't need clean very often, but all of a sudden if you start losing some pressure, you may want to take this off and look at it. It may just need to be cleaned. Uh, it's a, like a compression fit, so you simply pull it out and reinsert it back in, okay? Uh, our shoulder straps. We're actually making a change here, guys. What we found, we thought providing you with this big, wide, heavy padded strap was the right way to go. What we've heard from input back from you is that it sometimes digs in under your uh, shoulders here, your armpit area. So what we've done is we've actually, on the next productions, we've narrowed it a little bit. That absolutely, totally goes away and it's going to feel a lot more comfortable on you. Okay? Uh, on all units, the hardware, regardless if it's our 99.99 price point unit for the consumer, uh, all the way up through the top end, all the hardware is stainless steel. Okay? When you get into the 100 series over here, the 100, 101, 103, 105, you're also getting stainless steel frame, stainless steel hardware, and the pump handles are solid stainless steel, which gives you incredible strength versus the tubular that most companies do. Okay, this particular unit, if you're using uh, an application for wettable powders, this is the unit you want to go with. One of the two that we have, this is actually a triple function pump. What the first is a piston, so you get your high pressure. As the unit gets older and starts to wear, what happens is it starts to leak, a diaphragm picks it up, and you're able to continue with your job. The third part of it is this little hose that goes from the pump back to the tank. That's for jet agitation. So every time you pump that handle, it's shooting the chemicals, the liquids, back into the tank, which keeps everything circulating for you. This is the only one in the entire industry that has this triple function option. Uh, we go back the other way. This is our 401, which I think we already have some videos from a couple of our guys out there on uh, YouTube and Instagram. But this is an internal piston, and what's important there, again, is it starts to wear, and you guys, sometimes, you, they're not really storage containers, but you guys do that. Consequently, if the O-ring starts to wear, and it starts to leak a little bit until you get it replaced, it leaks back into the tank, not down your backside. 
There's another function, and inside the tank, it's in a little L shape. It's about this wide piece of plastic with a little hook on the top. You mount that onto your piston, and every time you pump it, it goes up and down, and that's your agitation feature also. So that's the second unit that you can use up to 30% wettable power. What we're showing you here is our little handy sprayer, a 503. This is for the uh, landscape industry and also for the pest control industry. The Viton formulations for both industries are very, very similar. So what you've got here is a left-hand thread, but we've got a, uh, a, uh, a piston in here. When you take a, like a Windex bottle and you squeeze that trigger, you're del delivering one cc in volume. This puts out five. This will go minimum vertically 20 feet, believe it or not. The neat thing for you guys is you can sit this right next to you on your turf tiger or laser or whatever the heck you're using and uh, spot spray at times when you're mowing. Okay? The whole piece here is totally serviceable, uh, repairable, replaceable. We also, there's a little drive pin that holds this in place. We provide an extra one in the box along with an eighth ounce of food grade silicone. Okay? It also comes with a, two different fan nozzles, a 90 and 110 degree. A fabulous little product, retails at like $24.99. Okay? And I don't want to get, we keep getting their booth. Okay, and there again, Roundup, that type of stuff, absolutely can run in here pretty much almost every chemical you're using because we're using the same high level of Viton here as we do in our 105E 20 volt unit and the other 100 unit that I was talking about. So, you know, if you guys want one at half the price, we can get it for you, but we're gonna dramatically have to drop the level of Viton and you guys aren't gonna be very happy because you're not gonna get any life out of it.